वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडवांस एक्सेल फॉर वी आई और एडवांस एक्सेल फॉर विजुअल एम्पायर बाय एक्सेबल कंप्यूटिंग यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस एपिसोड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इफ एल्स फॉर्मूला इन एम एस एक्सेल सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डोंट फॉर्गेट टू प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड कमेंट योर क्वेश्चन एंड क्वारीज इट द कमेंट सेक्शन डोंट फॉर्गेट टू शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली एंड ऑल्सो योर कम्युनिटी so you can help them to learn advanced excel so this is a excel sheet which i have already opened in my pc now we will try to apply the if else formula the formula name is if else but only we use if formula basically if formula is used to tell the condition to your excel sheet suppose here i have created a mock sheet and now i want to calculate or i want to know the status who is passed or who is fail how can i know my condition is the candidates who have 60% and above marks are passed and rest of the candidates are failure so now let's see percentage f1 this is the percentage column and if i press down arrow you will listen 67 f2 contains formula 67% okay though where is not percentage sign mentioned because i have not apply the conditional formatting the conditional formatting we will learn in future sessions so i'm pressing right arrow blank g2 then i'm pressing up arrow status g1 so in this column we will see the result whether he or she passed or failure so let me press the down arrow blank g2 yes so this is the first row where we will apply the formula to apply any formula you have to open the edit box and edit field press f2 any cell f2 edit blank type in text then i am typing the formula listen carefully equal sign equals because every formula starts with equal sign equals i f if if left parenthesis if left paren then i am typing the cell number here i type f2 because the percentage is mentioned in f2 so now i am typing f2 f dot this f2 then greater equals to f2 greater equals which means if the if to the number of if to or i mean the value of f2 call f2 cell is greater than or equals to 60 then the candidate will pass otherwise the candidates will fail okay so what i have typed home oh. i equals equals i f i f if left paren left parenthesis f2 f2 which means the cell number greater equals then greater sign equal sign blank then i am typing 60 60 then i am typing a comma 60 comma then within quotation whatever i want to write whatever value or whatever text i want to write i have to mentioned here so now i am opening quote quote then i am typing pass p a s s then i am closing the quote pass quote then i am pressing comma comma then again quote quote then fail then closing the quote fail quote then close the right parenthesis underline underline sorry right parenthesis right parenthesis okay so now let me tell you the formula again home r equals equals i f if left paren left paren or parenthesis open f2 f2 which means the cell number then greater equals greater than equals this is called conditions 60 60 comma quote comma then opening quote p a s s pass quote then close quote comma comma quote then again quotation f a i l f i l fail quote then again quotation right paren then right paren okay 
E5 press enter C. Enter blank G3. I'm pressing up arrow. Pass G2 contains formula. Okay. Now I am just drag and drop the formula to all other columns. Control Control D. Select no. G. C. Escape Escape. I'm just turning on the name. The name. Column headers and row headers. Set in column Prattle Mucker G8. Set in row titles column rate status. Name Prattle Mucker G. Pass G2 contains formula. He is he passed. Raj of Biswas. Pass G3 contains form Kunal Sa. Pass G4 Listen contains formula. Listen carefully. Pass G8 is Chowdhury. Pass Rajat Halder. Fail G7 contains fail. formula. Why fail? I'm pressing left arrow. Percentage. 58 F7 Percentage? contains formula. 58. So the percentage is below 60. That's why he failed. Status. Fail G7 contains formula. Then Anita Kumari. Pass G8 Eldo K. Then, Abraham. Pass G9 then, Kalina Rani. Pass G8 Kidu Daz. Pass William Joseph. Fail G12 contains fail. formula. I'm pressing left arrow. Percentage. 59 F12. 59. It's also below 60. This is how you can use the if condition in your Excel sheet. I think you can learn what I have taught in this video. So let me know into the comment section how this video helps in your daily life, daily professional life. In the next video, we will learn the next lesson. Till then, stay safe, take care. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.